Hello everybody, this is the website Sprint Review number 82 and Sprint Forecast 83. Um, I'm going to go through the email that we prepared and I'm accompanied by my two favorite llamas or alpagas, I'm not sure what they are. Uh, Where's my email? Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, Sprint Review. So we had one goal for the current Sprint, which was to break ground on the new component look and feel, which was done. So as I can tell, I've worked together on this one, pair programming for most of the time. Uh, which went really well. They shared knowledge a lot. Um, because you know, Kelp is on website, Isaac was on Tina, so it's you know, good combination. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're working on the breadcrumb at the moment. Yeah. Um, so, yes, yeah, Sprint 82 went for a week. Matt is our PO. Uh, these are the working hours. So, Kelp, uh, Matt full time, Isaac part time. He worked a bit on Tina, and I was Scrum Mastering. Next part is the PBI. So, we had three DOMs. Uh, the biggest one was the app router migration. So Caleb is being active on this. We try to migrate, you know, a bunch of pages every sprint. So the article is and where is it on today? Amani is on client for um, until March. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's just uh, these two guys mm -hmm. working on it. So uh, yeah, Caleb, do you want to just mention the articles page and the performance on it? Yeah. So the the articles page was migrated last week, but we dragged it back into the sprint because we noticed significant performance issues on the website. And when I looked into it. Um, during this sprint, it turns out we weren't generating each of the individual articles pages statically. So every time the route got hit, a GraphQL query would be run to generate the full page, and that's what was causing the slow loading times. Um, I also ran a SEMrush audit on the page to see if it would pick up on the slow loading speeds and left a comment in the PBI. I was a little bit concerned because I found the when we did a full site audit the pages that were loading slowly weren't appearing in the SEMrush crawl because SEMrush doesn't um, crawl pages that take longer than 10 seconds to load. Um, it did appear in a smaller audit with just the articles pages, though. Hmm, I wasn't aware of that. 10 seconds, and then it's... OK. Well, actually, I think it's five seconds that... Anything above five seconds. OK. So SEMrush didn't pick it up? No. And what about code auditor? So code auditor uh, is um, not working website. It's been a few weeks. Uh, we're trying to sort it out, but Zach is on client and he's the only person who's not on it. Brady also is very busy. So we talked about it. It's just we don't know who can work with right. it. Um, so okay. we just rely on the other ones. Okay. But it's it's in every sprint, like we, we mentioned it and we okay. it's active. Um yeah, any other PBIs? So these are just smaller work we've done. Um Small bug, and these are the big ones we're working on for the next sprint, which are the new components on the mm -hmm. website. Next is our performance. So on website, we're up to 62, which is what we're used to. Um, we worked on the total working time before. It's just a bit big, but yeah, it's so it's up and down. So yeah, um, on desktop it's at 72 too, so that's also quite good. Semrush, uh, similar to last sprint, the numbers has almost not not changed at all. Uh, we're 70 percent health. I'm showing the comparison at the bottom of all the numbers, and as you can see, between the two sprints, it's very consistent, uh, which is good given we don't work on performance. So it's good to see that nothing goes wrong. Next one is our Google Search Console, so non-index pages and index pages. Again, the numbers are very similar compared to last week. Not much change over there, um, which is good news too. Pair requests, uh, what we used to, so 33k for the sprint. Most of them, 24k are coming from these bots, uh, which we discussed in the past, and nothing we can do about it. Um, so yeah, basically we have like 10k if you do the difference of um, fair requests during the week. Deployments, we have to 16, I think, uh, which is good. We used to more normally, but yeah, some mm -hmm. strings, you know, we just have a bit less, but still a good number. And we on the retro. So when well. Uh, I mentioned that the goal was achieved. Caleb said that he enjoyed learning Tina stuff from Isaac, uh, and Isaac learned from Caleb too on the website, which was great. Uh, and pair programming also helped uh, to fix problems together. So yeah, it was really efficient, basically. Uh, didn't go well. Matt uh, mentioned that uh, he expected a video regarding the status of the breadcrumb because he was basically part of the goal. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to see the status before the review which makes sense. Yeah. And Isaac said that he enjoyed pair programming, but he felt like he was more efficient when he was working on his own and when they reviewed work together yeah. afterwards. 
uh, Matt still thinks that they should keep doing pair programming until they both have the same workflow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they yeah. keep doing this. Uh, in terms of improvements, uh, video, so just making down videos when possible, because uh, we didn't have any of the current sprints. And also, when not expecting to reach a target, mention it in the day scrum so that it's not a surprise on the review. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Anything okay. you want to add? Um, yeah, I think the tick and flick or uh, idea, um, if you show Matt where it's up to yep. before the sprint, yep. um, or when things are up to, uh, the sprint review will go faster. Correct. And then he, then he wouldn't be asking you for a done video. I should put your name next to this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, makes sense. Anything from you? Yeah, no. Cool, cool. All righty, let's move on to the forecast. Um, here it is. So for the next sprint, uh, we want to focus on these new components. So the goal would be to finalize the image text block component, which is this PBI over here. So I'm just going to hold it so we know it's the main goal. Um, and obviously finishing the other one, which is a breadcrumb. And also, yeah, keep, as you can see, it's mostly new components we want to focus on awesome. and have one page migrate again. So bit by bit, we're hoping to get everything migrated. Um, and that's about it. Any other comment from you guys? No. All good. Adam, all right, cool. Thank you, everybody. As usual, this is going to be uploaded to our web YouTube channel over here. Thank you for watching this recording, and see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Right. Hey. Oh, okay. Stop the video.